What's going on, guys? Um, you guys should already know that I'm trying to catch up on Demon Slayer right now. And I will say thus far with the very first two episodes, the very first one was about, I believe, an hour long. A little bit more of an hour long. Uh, I think it was, that was 45 minutes, I'm sorry. And just the 45 minutes of seeing everything from episode one to now two, how Tanjiro had been in pretty much a coma for uh, a few months after everything that occurred in the previous arc and then everyone else has gone on their own missions and he's been trying to recover from his and at the same time having the upper demons having their uh, meeting with uh, Lord Musen at the same time him trying to go on on how to get rid of the demon slayer corpse as well and then when Tanjiro does wake up he wants to realize that hey unfortunately his sword is broken and he's got to make another one and he doesn't know exactly how so when this happens he goes to an unknown uh village that are where all the sword makers are right and he meets another hashari and then of course actually i think he meets two of them i believe this other guy that was in episode two uh was the one as well and one of them that's a female she's very pretty she's very outspoken she's very strong and um for some reason nezuko really does take to her and at the same time uh tanjiro is trying to figure out a lot about her as well and also more about how to not only become stronger and more about someone that he saw which i got a feeling that the upper ranked theme in the very first one is a possible ancestor to him i got a feeling it very could well be i mean that's uh again i don't know if that is possible or not i have not read the manga i'm only been watching the anime i'm gonna have to look further into it to see <clears throat> if that's the case or not also with seeing some of these upper demons i think that there's going to be a controversy within the upper ranks at some point i'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen but i would like to see that at the same time i think that some of these other characters that we are going to be seeing is going to be making an appearance like such as upper one or upper five even and i think that this one that um tanjiro did see in his dream that he was facing off against in um, episode two that he was practicing off against is the uh it's maybe an ancestor of his and the one that's in upper one is the actual ancestor but he was uh possibly transformed into a demon way back in the day and then now he's gonna find that out at some point but I, i'm really am enjoying uh demon slayer season three thus far i'm enjoying this arc i'm enjoying um the lore around it i'm enjoying the animation it looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm loving how they're seeing how all these other characters that they're not <clears throat> Unfortunately, together, that Tanjiro is going to be on his own with, of course, Nezuko and these other characters that we are meeting and we're finding out about along the way as well. So, I can't wait to see more about these characters. I'm going to have to further dig in when I have some time. I am trying to catch up on a lot of things right now, and obviously Demon Slayer is one of them. But I figure I'd go ahead and give you guys my first impressions of the season. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see more. I wish that the episodes were a little bit longer than what they're actually giving us. I was very satisfied that they were able to give us 45 minutes of the very first episode. The second one, I believe, was normal, like 24 to 30 minutes. And <clears throat> I think that after we finally get more of these episodes that is the season is going to pick up not really just pick up but at the same time is going to improve and actually possibly answer a lot of our questions and a lot of concerns that we have with the characters and what's going to happen and how the story is going to progress overall so I, i'm enjoying it like i said but guys let me know what your thoughts are about that down below i know i didn't go over pretty much everything i just wanted to kind of you go into what my first impressions were of the season thus far, and I can't wait to see how much more we're going to be seeing later on in the season. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you guys are enjoying about season, who's your favorite character so far in season three. What have you liked about it? What have you disliked about it? Please let me know down in the comments down below. And if you have anything more to say, by all means, leave a comment. Let's all be respectful about it in the comments as well. And I'll be seeing you guys as always on the next one.